Today I'm going to show you how to compress an image in Windows. Uh, the way I'm going to show you today is going to reduce the file quality very slightly, like uh, there's different amounts that you can change it. So if you're looking for one that compresses it without changing the quality at all, then I'll have a different video for that one, but uh, that doesn't reduce the file size very much when you don't reduce quality, so uh, this is the way that you're going to make images a lot smaller. Uh, the program that I'm going to suggest you use is called Sasium, and it's a free application that you can just uh, you can go to their website here. It's uh, ccm.sourceforge.net. I'll have a link to it in the description, and you can just hit download, and then just choose either one of the mirrors, and then up at the top you want the regular, not the uh, portable. So, and then that's going to start downloading. I've already downloaded it, so. Um, it is right here, um, Sasium. Just double click to run it and say run. Hit yes at the prompt that pops up. And then hit OK for English. And next, accept the agreement. Next, 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 install. Um, and uh, this program is really good for just reducing the uh, the actual size of your image, but it the Im image is going to be the same before and after, like size-wise, uh, like uh, how big it is <laughs> visually, uh, but it's going to compress it. So I'll show you right here. Um, this is a photo that I took um, a while ago. I felt like a pretty fancy photographer after taking it. You can see that it's a, it's a really high quality image. Like if you zoom in quite a bit on it, you can see a lot of detail. Like, you can see the water splashing from even this far out. So, uh, it's a very big image. And so, if I want to just upload it as, like, maybe a profile picture or something, it doesn't need to be nearly this big. So, um, what I would definitely suggest doing is, if you're compressing photos, have a before and an after folder. If you edit this one and make changes to it, and then you save over this one, then if you mess something up, you can't go back to the original. So, always save it, like in a different folder. So what I'm going to do is I have my before right here and that's what I'm going to import into Sasium. So you just click on the image the icon up here and that's going to allow you to import an image and then I have that on my desktop in compression and before and so I'm going to double click on that image and you can see right now it is 5.9 megabytes like it says it 5927 kbytes but that's Six banks, six megs, which is a quite big uh, photo. So, um, after you have imported the photo you want, you can do a bunch at once. But I'm just going to show you how to do one. Make this symbol. Uh, then there's the quality setting at the bottom. The lower you put this, the smaller the final image is going to be. Like I've already tested it out with this photo, and it's going to shrink this one to like 1.2 megabytes. So it's going to be close to one fifth of the size on this 80% quality. So it's going to look almost as good while being much much smaller but if you don't really care how good it looks or it's going to be a really small image then you can drag it way down here and get a really really small image and I'll maybe I'll show you what that looks like too but for now I'm just going to leave it on 80 percent format is what you want to uh, put it out uh, what kind of photo you want is the final result so if you want like PNG or BMP for any specific reason uh, then you can choose that but I would just leave it as a JPG if you don't know what to choose here Input just makes it so that whatever this image is to start with, like if it's a JPG, then the final image is also going to be a JPG. If you put in a BMP with an input setting, then it's going to put out a BMP. So, but I would just leave it on JPG if you don't know what you want. Uh, then there's uh, resize. You don't really need to deal with that unless, like, see, this image is really big, so I might. Uh, I might want to set that, make this a background, and my screen resolution is 1920 by 1080. So if I wanted to say uh, resize, then I could say keep aspect ratio, and then choose the uh, the width and height here. But that's kind of that's going above and beyond. So unless you know how to use this, then you can just leave it alone. Um, and then uh, output folder over here, you're going to press this little thing right here, and then go to where you want the uh, the actual the after image to be. So, like I said, I made that uh, that folder on my desktop. That's compression, 
and so my before picture is in here and I want to put my after picture in here so it's in a different place. So then I'm going to say select folder and then there's an option right here remember last folder so then you don't always have to go and select the after folder and suffix I think will add that name to the uh, to the image so you could put something like here that says edited or something so the file name will then be whatever it was and then say edited after it uh, it's up to you if you want to do it and same folder as input will put the changed picture into the same folder as the uh, old picture I would not suggest doing that so you can keep them separate so once you've gone through all these options you can just hit the compress button and you're gonna see that it's gonna compress it uh, like it didn't take very long and you can see it says one compressed so that I was only doing one image and it worked fine and you can see saved space is 4.44 megabytes my original was f 6 megs almost and my new one is 1.3 megabytes so I see it's 77 percent smaller and I'll show you how that looks like so this is the original picture and it's it's pretty high quality as you can tell um, and then the after picture is right here and I, I took this picture with my Canon T4i so it, I think it's 18 megapixels that's why it's a really big picture so um, so you can see that this is the before and this is the after there's not much difference that you can see like maybe the wings might be a little bit blurry but uh, like see if I zoom in on like its foot here so you can see that there and then I zoom in on this one's foot and you compare those side by side uh, I have to make them about the same size okay now they're about the same size and you can see that the image size, image quality isn't that much different. Like this is the after, this is the before. To me, I'm not a, like a photo wizard or anything, but I'd say that that actually doesn't look bad for being one fifth of the size. So it is a lot smaller. And I'm going to show you one more method as well for uh, making the images smaller. Is so if I have this before image here, I can right click on it and say edit or you can open it with paint itself but if you right click on it and say edit it will open with paint so you can see just how big this photo is like it's a really high resolution it's way bigger than I need it so another thing that reduces file size is cropping so I'm gonna go to view here and zoom out a bit so now it's just will fit my screen cropping is where you cut out part of the picture you don't need like I'm really only interested in the bird all this kind of stuff here is just extra like especially this plane actually you'd want to get rid of that because it's a it's a nature image so uh, if you go to the home and you do select uh, better programs like uh, Adobe Illustrator will have more options for this this you kinda just have to guess uh, but you want to keep and kinda keep it at the same ratio as your screen size is so like try and draw the box pretty rectangular but uh, you can practice a bit more with it but for now I'm just gonna go quickly like I'm interested in like let's just say that much so then I draw that and I have this box here and if I hit crop and now I go to file save as so I'm not saving over my original and save it in the after folder and I'm gonna save it as like heron I think it's a heron maybe it's a uh, stork, I don't know. So then I hit save, and now if we go and compare the file sizes, so this one is before. Um, let me just get there. After. Okay. So this is the one that I just did. This is the one that I compressed earlier. So this is the before, and you can see down here it's 5.78 megabytes, while the new one is 1.1 megabytes. So just by cutting out this piece, now it's already one fifth of the size, because really only have one picture, fifth of the image there. But then I can even change it so it's uh, even smaller, because if I go to edit again right now, you can see it's still much bigger than my uh, screen size is. So if I'm just going to make this into a background, I don't really need that much like I can set it as my background right now but it's still extra so if you know how big your image needs to be you can use this resize option in paint and uh, you could have done this before you cropped it if you were uh, interested in like the whole picture but uh, the resize option if you click on it uh, you're gonna wanna 
leave this one here that says maintain aspect ratio and then you can either make it smaller by a percentage like if you put it as 80 percent then it'll be 0.8 times as high and 0.8 times as wide so it'll just well 20 percent smaller on both sides I like to do it by pixels because I know what what I'm going to be doing with this. I know my screen's resolution is 1920 horizontal by 1080 vertical, and you can tell that by, like, if you go to your resolution settings, I don't really want to do that right now, but that, I just know that. So I'm going to put the horizontal as 1920, because that's as big as my screen. I don't need any bigger. And it'll fill in the vertical for you, because it's going to maintain the aspect ratio of what the picture is right now. And that's what mattered when we drew that box earlier to kind of make it smaller. So when you say maintain aspect ratio and you're making it smaller, now you hit OK. Now it's going to make it that size, so it's going to perfectly fit my screen basically. So if I go to, now I do a, another save as like as Heron uh, wallpaper, because now it's exactly the size of my screen background, and then hit save. Now if I go back to those two folders here, I have this new one that's Heron Wallpaper. So from Heron, which was uh, this big aspect ratio and is 1.1 megabytes, now it's going to be 487 kbytes, so it's even smaller. So right now this is like, the original was uh, 6 megabytes and now it's half a megabyte. So this is 1 12th the size that this was. And as you can see when I set it as my background, even at one twelfth the size, it still looks really good as a background. Like it, uh, it still has good high, uh, high quality and everything. So uh, basically, this is how you uh, reduce file size in uh, in Windows. And there's different ways to do it. If you want to keep the compression, if you want to compress an image without losing any qu image quality, you can look at my next video on this. But uh, you'll lose a bit here, but as long as the original photo is pretty big, then you'll be okay. And that's generally how you do it.